Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm here to talk to you about Pyrex. I'm going to show you a little bit of Pyrex, tell you a little bit of history about it, and show you some of the items you need to be on the lookout for, things that you can buy so that you can make money. If this is your first time here, you're on Rockin' Robin's Garage Sale Find, and we come out three days a week with videos. Today is the Pyrex day. Now, it, we've been selling for 20 years, so we sell a lot of Pyrex, and we have in the past. But we haven't sold as much on eBay, and now I think I'm going to even look to sell it on eBay. This is your first time here. We sell on eBay, obviously, right? We sell on Mercari. We sell on Facebook Marketplace. We sell on Poshmark. And yes, we sell at the flea market. Now we've been doing this for over 20 years, so I have a lot of good information. But today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about Pyrex and what you need to be looking for if you want to sell Pyrex. So you stay with us, we'll be right back so we can talk about that. Hi, it's Rockin' Robin. We're back and the, today's topic is Pyrex. Now, there's a lot of things I tell you to go out and look for. And I usually tell you that in flea markets, I sell Pyrex and Fiesta. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Pyrex. Now, usually I sell Pyrex at the flea market. But after looking at eBay and some of the prices, I'm going to think about selling it on eBay. Now, Pyrex, trademarked by Pyrex, uh, is was introduced by Corning ink in 1915 for their line of clear thermal glasses they were usually for measuring you've probably seen the measuring glasses and those were how they started pyrex so pyrex glasses those are the very first ones and the first ones were for a, a was a soda lime glass now i see a lot in red and sometimes i see them in blue but if you see a soda lime those are very good and that is how pyrex started now they grew from there into the bowls you've probably seen sets of glass bowls well, I'm going to tell you, be on the lookout for sets. They got to be in four. Now, if you find sets in four, that's very good. Now, I've been finding that very popular right now is pink and light blue. How I remember is I think of baby colors. When they say a baby is born, what do you give them? You either give a pink or a light powder blue. Well, those are the two colors that I mainly look for. Now, there's a lot of common colors. There's white with yellow, white with orange, white with brown. Then there's yellow with white and all different kinds. So I would say if they're a reasonable price, $15 and under for sets, I grab them. Now, sometimes even $35 for any of the sets I'm showing up here are definitely worth it because you have to get complete sets. I mean, I buy ones that aren't complete and we'll sell them at the flea market but now if i find them in fours i'm going to sell them on ebay now they go for a lot of money more money than i even imagined one time i went to a uh auction they had maybe 500 pyrex dishes now that was very good now the other thing though out there are some that have the tops and the bottoms and their casserole dishes those can be very good too you need to look at now of course the uh, design around you want to be as clear as possible you don't want to be missing the, the value goes down if the design is faded or some of it's gone from where dishwasher use don't put pyrex in the dishwasher because you're just ruining the outside so if you get one home and you clean it don't put it in the dishwasher wash it by hand if you have some at home and you think hey, they might be worth something wash them by hand before don't put them in the dishwasher how many times are i going to say that so then look them up because you never know with pirates it's hard for me to tell you on here what's valuable what's not that's why i'm showing you so many different pictures because i think the pictures you look at are worth a thousand words they always have been now you don't want chips don't get them if they're chip or if they're chips, they're not really worth much. You can use them for your personal, but you don't want to sell them because they're not going to get anything. The ones that have tops, look for tops. They're still valuable without tops, but the tops are very important. They make it worth more. Nowadays, not even Pyrex is the one who makes them. Corning and different things will make them. Uh, they'll have all kinds of different names on them, but you want to look for the name Pyrex stamped on the very bottom. If it's not stamped Pyrex, 
it's not Pyrex, okay? There's a lot of imitations. It's got to have the stamp. And I haven't seen imitations as far as people say they're Pyrex or they're not Pyrex. They're just stamped different things. So that's a good thing. Now, they can sell anywhere. When I get them, I usually get them for $15 to $30. And I'll sell them for maybe double or triple at the flea market. I haven't sold them for hundreds and thousands like you see online. But, you know, they are out there and they are definitely worth it. So that's a little bit of the history of Pyrex, a little bit about what you can look for, a little bit about being sure that they're not cracked. The uh, outside has to be nice. You will find a lot of them co collectors at the flea market. So if you do do flea markets, be aware that collectors will be out there and they will know more and always overcharge and let them talk you down. Now on the uh, eBay, I don't know if it's better to have an auction or which way you feel more comfortable. It's really going to be up to you when you do Pyrex. Uh, you know, look it up, see what you can get. Either you put it up at the highest price and let people talk you down or you put it low and hope that it goes up in auction. It's really up to you. And make sure you pack them well. They uh, put stuff in between each of them. Uh, pack each one with a uh, wrap and make sure that they're really good condition because they break easily and you don't want to do that and insure them if you can't insure them insure them or go through ups because ups is a lot safer than usps and they're automatically insured so that's what i'm going to recommend you try if you're going to ship them because they're breakable and usps is terrible the post office just you know they have to go through so many a day and things happen so that is what i'm saying about Pyrex. I hope that you helped learn. Is there a subject you want to learn more about? Let me know in the comment section. So if you like the things that we're going to tell you and we're going to help you sell, please subscribe to our channel. We come out three times a week. We try to bring you all kinds of things. Tips. We show you what we're buying, what we're putting up. Uh, we talk about certain subjects like this. We do a lot of different things. And uh, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate the thumbs up. We know you like this. We know you're watching. And then uh, if you hit the bell, what happens is you're notified every time we have a video. And you can say, hey, that's one I'm really, really interested in that you don't want to miss. Also, feel free to go back and look through other videos of ours. We talk a lot of different topics. And there might be one that you've been dying to know about. So that is very, very important. So now what I want you to do is what I want you to always do. I want you to go garage selling this weekend. I want you to go to the thrift store. I want you to look for Pyrex. And when you find the Pyrex, I want you to eat the flea market, sell it on Mercari or on eBay. And then you go make yourself some money. See you Monday.